Chad, just start your evaluation offensively of what you guys did. Uh, most of it looked pretty good offensively, but I'm sure there were a couple things you didn't like. Yeah, the, uh, the biggest thing we didn't like was the ball security. Uh, definitely got to take care of the ball. I was lost one, but you know several more that was in jeopardy. So we got to take it. That's the biggest thing. I was real pleased with the. Uh, we had no for two uh, two weeks in a row. We had no pre snap penalties. We just had that one. It was the first play of the game. Uh, and had a lineman downfield, but that was two weeks in a row that I didn't pre snap penalties, which is really good because we've been doing a great job of, you know, mixing up the cadence. So that was really good. We were efficient passing the ball, which is really great to see. Uh, we're explosive running the ball, broke tackles, and uh, we played clean football outside of that ball secured out. That's that that really poor. Outside of that, we played, played real clean football. Yeah. On the pressure with Garrett, what, what, uh, that was. That uh, one right in his face. Uh, miscommunication and uh, poor lack of execution between uh, the center and the running back. Do you think he was carrying the ball wrong on that fumble? Well, no, he was just trying to get to he – he, he got away from it early in the run. Uh, at the point of attack, you know, uh, I say he was just being greedy, to be honest with you. You know, Coach talked about not having, like, 21-point plays at that particular time. You know, he's trying to get – you know, he's trying to get – more than what he what was there, he got to cuff the football. You know, he had two defenders. We always say, in time you're in traffic, which is two or more, cuff the football, and it was two defenders around him. So he was just, instead of trying to stiff arm the guy and get more yards, just cuff the football, get now, play the next play. After what happened to Jordan? Are you going to stay away from him, or are you going to be a little <laughs> more? Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, paying attention on the sidelines. What was your thoughts? I'm a little more alert to coach, to coach Leslie. I'm a little more alert to Coach Leslie. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna jump cut and get out of the way, but I'm gonna stay right there on the sideline. <laughs> did you see it happen? Were you close to him? I did not see it. I didn't see it after the, uh, the game. We got a locker room. Wow. No, I did not see that happen. Yeah. He took a great shot, though. Wow. Have you ever had anything like that happen in a game? Have you ever get friendly fire or anything on the sideline? I've been close. I've been uh, pretty athletic enough to jump cut, but uh, now I have. I, I hadn't experienced that. I hadn't been run over like that. He got a pretty good one. Yeah. I don't. I don't think he saw that coming. Or at least he saw it too late. Yeah. Neil Brown mentioned uh, C.J. Donaldson, Offensive Player of the Week. He's been running yeah. really well and aggressive again. How mm -hmm. excited does that make you going back up to Pittsburgh now, where you really had that breakout game? Yeah, season? very excited. Uh, you know, and I've been saying this for a couple of weeks now that you know you guys are going to see the you know more confident and you know. You know, healthier version of him uh, that he that he showed two years ago, but uh, and you know he, he's playing at a high level right now, and he's also I mean, he's just such a great football player. He's playing all the special. He's playing special teams. He's starting with two or three units special teams wise. He's uh, he's running with great pad level, falling forward, and he's seeing it really well. And you know it's that's great to see. It's, it's very pleasing to see. He's he's worked his butt off to get to this point. And it's it's great to see. For last year, I mean, it was tough keeping him on the field. Was there a concern there that this was going to uh, just linger? Uh, obviously, he's been able to get through two games so far. Was that something you talked to him about? Say it one more time. Well, just just him staying on the field and being dependable and yeah. saying, hey, I'm going to have you. Yeah. You know, before there were games like, wow, do I ha we have CJ? Is he good right. to go? Right. Well, like I said, last year he, was, he, was, uh, he wasn't healthy at all yeah. last year. Yeah. Uh, He's all fixed up now, and he's healthy. And he's done a phenomenal job working on his body. He's, you know, he's did a great job. We always talk about if you spec more, do more. And he spec a lot out of his body. You know, he's asking, he asking his body to do a lot. And so he's did a phenomenal job with his nutrition, how he's trained. He's changed his body. Uh, you know, he's built his, uh, his lean uh, muscle mass. Coach Joseph done a phenomenal job with him, and so he's stronger. And he's able to uh, withstand more. And he does a phenomenal job recovering as well. But I don't even talk about that with him because I don't even want him to think about you know that at all, and um, he doesn't talk about it either. Uh, he's a running back now. Yeah. Before he was a, a wide receiver transitioning right. to a running back, right. now his body's getting used to taking blows yeah. and all that. I guess. Yeah, he's gotten used to. It. He feels it. He, he you know, he, he took so many bad shots last year. You know, just you know, not playing uh, with great pad level and playing banged up, and you know, not necessarily able to move the way he wanted to move, agile wise, to avoid a lot of collisions. So, and I'm pretty sure he don't want to feel that anymore. Uh, but he did a great job. And, you know, one of the uh, runs I really liked near the goal line, called an outside zone play, and he did a phenomenal job making a safety miss and breaking a tackle. That's kind of the agile. You know, with, with the change of his body, it's allowed him to be a lot, a little, lot more uh, nimble on his feet and, and make guys miss, and so he can avoid some of those big collisions. But he's avoiding 
direct hits a little Absolutely. bit more. Absolutely, he yeah. is. He really is, and he's doing a great job, more consistently, uh, playing with better pad level, which shows up, shows over his toes, which is not exposing his big frame to big hits either. You talked about that pad level. Is that hard for a taller back to? It really to is, and we do what I do to help him out. And during my individual drill, I work a lot of those arches that forces him to play low. But it is hard for a kid that 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 size. But obviously, we can't make an excuse. Nobody cares, right? We got to we got to get our pass down. So what I do, you know, a couple times a week is use those arches within the individual drills that force him to do it. So, you know, he's consistently doing it over and over. So when it matters most, he does it. What's the story of Pitt's defense? You know, said it's kind of the same as it's been. Yeah, you know, he's been there for several years, so they're you know they are who they are. Uh, versatile defense. Uh, they do a lot. They blitz a lot. They fly around. Athletic. Fly to the get eleven hats to the football. I got eight sacks and eight different guys have been in on that. So is it yeah. a matter of uh, games, twists? Do they move a lot of people around? Is there people you got to? Identify. They do. They uh, they they move. They do do a lot of games up front. They they slant a lot and they blitz a lot. They try to create a lot of confusion uh, within the front uh, O line. When I mean when I say the front and and the running backs, so we got to do a great job this week. O line and running backs been on the same page communication wise and you know same page to understand who has who. So because it might be a time where the O line might miss and the running backs can make them right, vice versa. So this week's a, a great week for us to you know uh, get on the same page. And we've done that for the most part. That hiccup we had last week was, you know, that's uncharacteristic for, of us. It shouldn't have happened. Coach, do you, do you say anything to, to Green going into such a big game? Because he, he didn't play in the game in 2022, and then last year injured so early. He hasn't really had this experience of being the guy. Uh, no, not really. Really, but the only thing we say to all of these guys is that it's a second opportunity on a big stage, and we got to capitalize on it. And, uh, you know, they need to go play with emotion. They, they go naturally do that. But it's got to be controlled emotion. Uh, and for him, you know, he's just got to just, re, you know, repeat success. You know, he had a great week last week, just follow that up with another week, not put any, you know, the, I think the, just the momentum and atmosphere around this week going to create, the, you know, enough excitement, you know, that he needs. So he just consistently do what he did last week. The way Pitt plays defense, sometimes it's tempting to throw it down the field. But with the way their corners are back to the ball, is it tempting for Garrett to say, hey, see green grass take off? Absolutely, he needs to do that. And he did that last week, and that's just who he is. And, uh, and, and we, didn't see, we did not see a lot of that the first week, which is not who he is. And then uh, he did that a lot last week. So, you know, that's, I hope he does do that. But we got to be able to hit some shots downfield. We did that this week, and that was good for the receivers to see. And it was good for, the, uh, for him to see those guys make those plays for him uh, last week as well. So we got to be able to take some shots. And, and then when I look at him uh, pulling the ball down the run, I look at it more as him not making bad decisions. You know, the younger Gary Green in the past would force those throws. Older, more mature, you know, understands, sees the game a lot better. He's going to get yards and live to play the next play, which is what we need. How hard is it to develop Rodney Gallagher uh, when you're sharing on both sides? And, and how do you work that out? Oh, uh, well, they do a great job in the meetings. Uh, you know, he, he kind of goes back and forth. This is a tough task to answer your question. <laughs> it's a tough task to, to do it. Now, he's a first of all, he's very intelligent, he's very smart, got great uh, football intelligence. If he didn't have that, it'd be hard for him to, you know, go both ways, you know. So, natural football player, great uh, football intelligence. Uh, he's done a phenomenal job in the all season, uh, doing a lot both ways. So, they ain't really. It's not a lot. We're not. We not asking him to do a lot. He knows everything offensively, so it was great. We didn't ask him to do that last year. We knew in the future we move him back, uh, back and forth. So we want to make sure he knew the entire offense. So he knows the entire offense. So from that standpoint, there's no issues. Uh, defensively, you know, he did a lot in the off season. He spends a lot of time with them during the uh, week. So obviously, he got to do extra in regards to watching more film and and what we call open hours, and he does. So that helps him out. Have experience in either of those positions. Right. I mean, you know, he wasn't yeah. really a wide receiver or a right. defensive back. So that's just an athlete. Yeah. Tough task, though. Robinson and Bray closer to regular contributions? They are. They made some uh, strides last week. That was good to see. That was good. I was excited for them. I was happy for those guys. Uh, uh, J. Rob, Justin Robinson made some big plays for us uh, last week, and 
And it was good to see uh, Jaden Bray get the big ball. You know, he needed that big time for his confidence. But uh, they are. And hopefully those guys break out any time now. We got talent at room, man. It's, those, those guys in that room would do a lot. But it's good to see those guys come along and be able to make some plays for us last week. with Pitt prior to uh, West Virginia? I do. Well, when I coached at uh, Carolina, we played those guys. Okay. So obviously, Marvin was the coach then? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, anything else for Coach? That's it. All right, thank you very much. Thank you all.